Hi. Now what we've got to do here is show that the substitution y equals v times x transforms the differential equation 3xy squared dy dx equals x cubed plus y cubed, which we're calling equation 1, into the differential equation 3v squared x dv by dx, which equals 1 minus 2v cubed. And this is equation 2. So if you'd like to try this and haven't done so already, just give you a few moments to pause the video, do come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine or fast forward just to the end to get a quick overview. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all then, let's just take that substitution, y equals v times x. Now. When I look at the equation that we've got to get, there's no y's in it. So it does seem to suggest that I've got to substitute for y and dy by dx. So that's my starting point here. I'm going to want to differentiate this with respect to x. So differentiating y with respect to x is going to give me dy by dx. but here I've got a product and so I've got to use the product rule. So if I take say v and I multiply it by the differential of x with respect to x, well that's simply going to be 1 and then to this we add and then I write down the x and multiply it by the differential of v with respect to x which is going to be dv by dx. So there's our product rule. Now if I take my two equations, let's say we've got this one, let's call it A, and this one here we'll call B. And what I'm going to do is sub A and B, A and B, into this equation here, into 1. All right? So we'll just put that there. And if we do that, we therefore have 3 times x times y squared, but y squared would be v squared x squared. So just put that as v squared x squared. And then we've got to multiply this by dy by dx. And dy by dx, if we take it from here, we'll just put a square bracket there, I think, is going to be v times 1, we'll just call that v, and then plus x times dv by dx. And we'll close that off and it equals x cubed and then plus y cubed so we're going to have v cubed x cubed so v cubed x cubed now if i expand the bracket here and just tidy up as we go we're therefore going to have 3x cubed 3x cubed multiply by a v squared and a v, so that's going to be v cubed. And then plus, and we've got 3x cubed here, multiplied by that x is going to give me 3x to the power 4, and then we've got v squared and dv by dx. And then that equals x cubed plus v cubed x cubed. Now I notice that every term has got an x cubed in. So I could divide through by x cubed. It goes once there. Into this term it just goes x times. Here it goes once and here it goes once. So what we have now got is this term here which is 3 v squared x multiplied by dv by dx and it equals the one that we have here and if I subtract 3v cubed from both sides we've got v cubed here minus the 3v cubed gives me minus 2v cubed and that is what we had to show. All right.